doctor says, the former treatise of I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began to do and to teach. First he did it, and then he taught. And people listened to what he said because of what he had already done. And you know, our works in the communities where we live will make way for the words. They'll, they'll be winsome. And they'll, and they'll open people's ears to hear what we're saying. I sat beside a rather aloof university professor on the way from Minneapolis to San Francisco. And I had tried several times to talk to her, and she wasn't interested. She didn't want to talk about anything. And then lunch came, and there was only one chicken salad left. And I got it. And she wanted it. And so I gave it to her. And all of a sudden, she started to listen to me. It's no big deal. But people are always trying to connect what we say and what we do, right? And the great charge against Christians is that they're hypocrites. What is a hypocrite? A person whose words and deeds don't match. Paul said, make sure that your lifestyle becomes the gospel. It matches the gospel. When somebody comes to me and says, there's no God, and, and they have all of these opinions, and I say to them, well, you know, I take your opinion seriously, but I'd like to check your credentials. Now, Jesus, he said certain things, but now he raised dead people. Have you raised any dead people lately? Have you given the blind their sight? Have you healed broken hearts? Oh, I think I'm going to take his word for it because he proved, he authenticated what he said by what he did. And Christians, that's what the world's looking for with us. We can talk about the peace of God all we want, but if we cut somebody off on the expressway and we push our way in on the line and we, you know, our nerve endings are hanging out all the time, people are not going to take us seriously, are they? If we speak about the joy of the Lord, but there's no joy in our lives, it's because we have not been feeding on the words of the Lord Jesus. We haven't been taking those words in. Because if we do take them in, in the moments of crisis, he'll whisper in our ear. He'll remind us how he behaved in that situation. And he'll give us lots of opportunities to show people what Jesus is like by the way we act.